Hey, Mike. Hi, Mike. What's going on? Extreme! <laughs> That's what's going on, Mike. Yeah, Mike, you should try it. Uh, extreme what, exactly? Well, take me, for example. I'm into extreme yoga. Surge! And I'm into <laughs> philately. I own you, Venezuela, 1947. Extreme poster! Now, have you thought about what you'd like to be extreme about, Mike? No me? fear, Miguel. Well, I'm not a really extreme. Oh, you know what? I really like rice. Wow. Extreme rice! Rice thermal <laughs> nuclear protection! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> See, Mike, isn't uh, rice better when it's extreme? Sure is. Uh, we'll be right back. Wow! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's delicious rice. Huh. I mean, um... Uh, ah! Rice! Basmati! Oh, forget it, Mike. You're never gonna be extreme. Yeah, you're never gonna have been there or have done that. You're never gonna... Whoa! 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 Whoa. 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 Mike just disappeared! Hey, 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 you know, that's, that's pretty... You know, that's pretty you know? extreme! Yeah! yeah. All right, Mike! Woo. Completely ah. dissipating all matter! Cool! Ah. Yeah! Yeah! Mike! Woo. Yeah! Hello? Hello? Can anyone tell me where Michael I am? Michael J. Nelson! Yes? Michael J. Nelson, you are charged with crimes against man and nature. So that failure to yield finally went to bench warrant. I knew no, it. No, but now that we know about that, we'll add that to the charges. Oh, I'll just be quiet then, huh? Good idea. Okay. Michael J. Nelson, you are charged with the wanton and cruel destruction of many planets. That? Well, come on. I mean, it's... We a of the Intergalactic two. Tribunal, bound by neither space nor time, find your atrocities typical of humankind. Oh, so it's one of those deals where I'm on trial for all of humanity and their fate depends upon my guilt or innocence? No, why are you trying to blame everyone else? You're the guilty one. Don't try to drag everyone else down with you. I just thought it was one of those... I will act as your impartial judge, though you disgust me beyond measure. And you will be afforded the privilege of choosing your own defense attorney. Your choices are Socrates, Charlemagne the Great, Clarence Darrow, or Professor Bobo the Gorilla. Bobo? How is he going to have Bobo that Bobo it right? is then. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes, Mike. Yes, good. Say, you got anything to eat? And for your prosecutor... Oh, uh, someone merciful. How about St. Teresa of Lisieux? Ah, sorry. St. Teresa's on a racketeering case for the Bronx DA right now. Your choices are King Solomon, Hildegard of Bingen, oh, Thomas Could Jefferson, go or either way. Pearl Forrester. Oh, yeah. I'm going to choose Pearl Forrester Pearl when I can Forrester have... Pearl Forrester it is, then. She will prosecute. Oh, I don't learn very quick, do I? No. Hi, Mike. Boy, I sure hope you don't take this personally, that I'm going to get him to fry you and stuff. But I have been called to serve justice, and that's bigger than all of us, except maybe Bobo here. <laughs> Besides, I already have my book deal. Okay. And let the trial begin! Your Honor, I move for an immediate recess so I can buy you a real expensive lunch and oh. Mike can watch a crappy movie. What oh, sounds delightful. Oh. Nelson, you are remanded to the custody of those annoying robots on your satellite to watch a cinematic abomination from the 60s called Agent 4 Hob. <laughs> We're dead. <sighs> oh. Whoa, Mike's gonna hang. Hey, that's pretty extreme. Woo! Well, wow. side, yeah. Terminate with extreme prejudice. <laughs> we 
Where's the jailbird? Nope. Yeah. Mike, Ooh. you okay? Well, I'm on trial and stuff. Oh, poor guy. Oh, sad, really. Well, I have abandonment issues with this movie already. Ah, the traditional running of the Clouseaus. <laughs> Inspector Gadget in Marathon Man. Damn kids, stop playing in my sewer. Ah, it's the Eastern Europe part of Southern California. <laughs> halt and see. Hold me, hold me. In its final days, budget cuts reduced the Soviet army to one soldier. My David Lynch hair, no. So close. Stupid Hamilton, I can't see a thing. Ha, I'll throw my cologne at him. Tonight on Michael Collins, P.I. <laughs> ah, it was worth killing to find the perfect picnic spot. Bonjour, I surrender. I love Mickey Rock. Conrad, oh. I knew we could trust you. You and your assistant wow. are not in the West Zone yet, Dr. Stefanik. But almost. Thanks to you, my friend. <laughs> you should be more careful in your choice of friends. They paid me well. You are not to see the free world, Stefanik. A traitorous Frenchman. Who would have thought? So you're breaking up with me then? My hair! Damn you, Shell Silverstein! I am mighty elderly man. <laughs> the death of Pete Fountain. Does he have to die splayed all over that other guy? And I get the deadhead van. I need some galois and some petit pan. Don't you let your deal go down. Hopefully the man under me is Jerry Lewis. Ooh, this mud pack is running. <laughs> <laughs> Barnaby Jones. Oh, that stands for a huge angular red marshmallow. Hair suit astronauts revile Massachusetts. Heuristic analog rental meat. Hey, special in what way? He's a special needs guest star. Carl's got a cute shape. Starring has and never was it. <laughs> With Bob Marley and Prince. <laughs> wow, Mark really worked his snag off for this movie. Enjoy our pointy credits. Titles by E.E. E. Cummings and Katie Lang. These people did not earn triangles, but they can try again next year. Tired of embarrassing Snag? Use Snag Off. <laughs> so what college is this banner for? Hey, Italy's right on the bus line. <laughs> uh, a little little to the left. I don't think I'm totally in the shot. But... Oh! <laughs> Ow! We're being beat up by the music. Gird your Oswald. It's going to be a tough one. Oh, boy. <sighs> I missed the triangles already. <laughs> Transportation, your friend. We issue station wagons to all our secret agents. Wow, Red River is really crested. <laughs> this is my dad. He didn't know I was filming him and stuff. <laughs> Xanadu, stately home of Charles Foster Manson. I didn't know Section 8 built beach homes. Mr. Peepers, P.I. Hello, I'm here to set up the AV projectors. He's there for his Howard Sprague fan club meeting. 
<laughs> a door-to-door spat salesman. It's me, Henry. Give me that hundred you owe me or I'll break her darn kneecaps. <laughs> Not the tiny sausage gun, no! Panel world, hello. We're grass speaking. Yeah, my cat's cradle got out of control, so I pinned it to the wall. He did. Oh, when? Spy agency and string art gallery. <laughs> Marion? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Has Chance checked in yet? He just called me from the practice area. Beehive. Made a date yeah. with me for tonight, I might add. You won't be keeping it. Get him right up here. Yes, sir. I'm sorry about the date, honey. <laughs> I'll see you get a rain check. It's a deal. She's a great wife. What was his assistant's name, please? Dad, drunk soul. Harry Manson. Shirley's brother, isn't he? We'll get on it right away. <laughs> Solid balsa wood, baby. That, my sweet, is how it's done. What a dork. Now, you don't have to learn karate. But if you want to be one of our contacts in the Middle East, <laughs> you've got to expect the other side to use it. Maybe on you. I understand, Adam. So harm stands for hot and ready, man. <coughs> ow, 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 ow. That's your boyfriend, all right? And don't rely on charm. Get your head blown off. And quit going around being a woman. <laughs> These are your acupressure points. This could have been you. And don't you forget it. Better go back to the judo range. Adam. <laughs> the judo range? There's so much to learn. Do you know a good teacher? Could we continue our lessons later? Say at my apartment. Uh, I don't know. Do you have cats? Not tonight, sweet. I'll call you. Oops, pacemaker's going off. Well, meet me at the karate rink later. <laughs> Chance here. Mr. Graff wants oh. you. <laughs> okay, love. I'll see you tonight, Marion. That's your story. You'd better get into the office. I'm on my way. Is that your big-thumbed girlfriend? You might want to back up. The power of this Honda 60 is pretty overwhelming. <laughs> Judo range. Then go practice your skeet kendo and bring your Aikido rifle, too. Better get into my judo bikini. <laughs> come in, Adam. I drink a lot. How come I never made the doer's profile? You left early this morning. What was that all about? Clairvoyance? What do you always see through closed doors? This is a security office. This is a security office, old man. Old Jim Graff knows all. <laughs> I'm about to believe it. Command, signal red. Virgin, signal red communication. <laughs> oh, so you get the new map channel. We've learned that Italy is dropkicking Sicily. Tony is covering Naples, isn't he? Needs help fast. Who else have we got in that area? Grants and Rome. We've got butter cookies in Salerno. <laughs> he should pad his skull. <laughs> we put the altitude so the agents can adjust baking temperatures. We blew a bulb. Jeez. Good, Tony. Oh. Darts, then? He's definitely wearing a girdle. Jim, I'm packed. You got a ticket for Naples? Okay. Not you, Adam. There's something else. Look at that. I drew this turtle freehand. Look at it. Marion? Yes, sir. Root Grant from Rome to Naples. Tell him to find Tony and ship him home. And send in another wet bar. Your poems are really nice, sir. Is uh, this the same Dr. Stefanik, the uh, biochemist who defected? That's our bird. The governor offered a research grant when he came over. Rob Hodgson. Turned it down. He's in California now, a place called Seaview, near San Diego. Oh, outside Boston? What's his problem? Manson, his assistant. Manson, his assistant. They found his body outside of Stefanik's lab about an hour ago. Was it murder? The on-the-spot diagnosis was heart attack. 
But we can't be too careful with Stefanik's Iron Curtain Pass. The apartment has ordered a postmortem for tonight. I want you there. You know I have Claude dancing tonight. <laughs> Mom, I found a really big feather. The Target Center, the early days. <laughs> it's a nice resort, but they need more activities, I think. Hate the outside. Screw you outside. My poor Eva. I'm sorry Green Acres was canceled. Oh. Sometimes I forget. I've seen so much horror. There's little that can shock me. Then I put my tongue in the outlet. That did the trick. But with you, it's different. Half woman, half baby. It seems so hard to believe. Henry was a fine man and a good assistant. And a fine comic strip. With Henry gone, couldn't I help you? I know something of biochemistry. We could work together. She's got fiber optic hair. No. My tests are almost completed. I can finish up alone. <laughs> well, I better check on my pot stilled hooch. <laughs> well, PBR me ASAP. Time to tune up. I'll have to go under my tongue with this one. Torgo's theme. Get away! Later, my friend. I still cannot test your secret. Yeah, just give me my flies, pal. And you meddle, Simeon? I'm not listening. You have to provide me with a few more answers. Yeah, well, I'm still in therapy over that wire, Mom. Hey, canopy. I wonder if I can get my face painted here. Like the canopy. Yes, I would no very pants. much like oh, a canopy. Wow. Would you like to dance? Yes, I would very much like to dance. Would you like to dance? <laughs> yes, I would like very much a... Polita. Yes? What is it you would like? I like the drooling old guy out of my tent. <laughs> I don't know who you are or what you're selling, but I'm not buying. Madam? I'm Adam. I have in this little suitcase a 300-volume set of the most fantastic books you ever laid eyes on. Oh, shut up. All in that suitcase? Yes, where well, you see they're miniatures, condensed versions. I also have an assorted collection of uh, mops and brushes. And flobies. But I'd say you're definitely not the mop and brush type. <laughs> Nor the intellectual type. <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, since you're not on the market for books, mops and brushes, um, may I see the man of the house? Uh, Dr. Stefanik, right? I knocked, but uh, nobody answered. Goo goo. Oh, then you really came to see my uncle, not me. Mr... A chance. Adam, chance. I'm Eva Vestok. How do you do? Whatever, Vladivostok. 22, unencumbered. And if I'd known you were coming, I would have been more presentable. If Washington had known you were here, they'd uh, never have sent me. Your holiness. <laughs> Washington? Uh, yes, on business, unfortunately. But um, then again, our business um, may not take too long. Good, then you can go. In that case, I better take you to my uncle right away. Please. Well, that's about enough innuendo for now. <laughs> may I? By the way, uh, we are going to be sexual partners, right? I'm, uh... Impotent. I'm sorry if I interrupted your lesson. Oh, that's all right. I'm afraid I'm a hopeless case. I'll never lose my accent. Well, I hope you don't hey. lose it because, uh... I kind of like it. TGI Fridays on the beach. Hi, Vidal. How they curling today? Oh, they were much better earlier. Billy, this is Adam Chant. Hello, Billy. Young Charles Grodin. A ho, Dad? Back to fighting for your life, Mike. <laughs> yeah, I suppose I better get going. Nice you, Mr. Chant. Get back to my trial. Yep, 
Yes, sir. Mike is as good as that when he gets this little linzer tort of mine. <laughs> yes, well, I think it might be just a little obvious, Crow, what with the power saw kind of poking out on both ends there. Oh, come on. Touch more almond paste on the motor housing and it'll look like Grandma made it. Yeah, I suppose. Hey, you guys, they've started opening statements. Hey, nice tort. <laughs> oh, please, Mr. Nelson, you mustn't kill us. We're an innocent planet. Oh, yeah? Well, tough nipples, planet. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. When he is convicted, I will ask that the wretched accused be eaten by fire ants. Thank you for your time. Uh, Professor Bobo for the defense. <clears throat> Thank you, Judge. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, now. A lot of folks around these parts have been throwing the words World Destroyer around like a bone for old blue. <laughs> so you blow yourself up a planet. Does that make you a World Destroyer? Hmm? Ah, my mama, she burnt a brown Betty one time. That make her a World Destroyer? I reckon not. Because, folks, maybe, maybe Brown Betty plays a much bigger role in this whole thing than we realize. Oh, bubbling, full of fruits. Little cinnamon nutmeg. Bobo, sprinkled please, on. could you get Do shut up, boy. I'm defending you here. <clears throat> now, folks, we're going to hear the word panties used a lot in this trial, so let's get them giggles out right now. Panties, 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 panties. Panties, panties, Bobo, panties, please, panties, this isn't helping panties. my case. Relax, son. <clears throat> now, judge, folks, ah, I'm not going to stand here and pretend my client's innocent. Well, he's guilty. He blew up them planets neat as you please. <laughs> well, just look at this face of his. Look at them veins coming out of his neck there, them beady little sunken eyes. Why, it turns my stomach just a glance of scant at this putrid leech on the universe. Yes, really kind of puts me right off my lunch. 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 Judge, think we could get a steam table set up in here, get some potatoes, something chickeny. Would you please sit down? Get away from me, murderer! <laughs> Well, what I mean to say, of course, is, in summary, I would like to recall the words of that great and honorable statesman, Abraham Lincoln. Well, that about wraps it up. <laughs> Thank you. Won't you? Your witness. No witness has been called. Whatever. <laughs> you sure got him eating right out of my hand. You stop standing in front of me, you stupid I am to my quiet murdering you. Mike, why were you choking the monkey? Because Bobo's such a... Hey. Billy's what you would call an exchange student. I taught him in French, and exchange he teaches me how to surf. He uses our beach when the others are crowded. I didn't know surfing would involve so much nudity. Old guy, there's another old guy to see you. Uncle Jan, there's someone here to see you from Washington. Just a moment. I'm talking to my snake. Ah, I need more speed, man. <laughs> Come in. I will not speak until I am all the way in. <laughs> I'm sorry I've kept you waiting. That's all right. I rather enjoyed it. I'm uh, Adam Chance. Glad to meet you. Can I offer you a lab rat or... Uh... I take it you have met my niece. Yes. Yes, we have met Uncle Jan. He has already leered at me. Yeah, you're kind of in the way of the door there. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Mr. Graf called. Mr. Steffi Graf. Although I don't know why Harm should be interested in my assistant's death. Harm? Are you an agent? Only when I have to be. Sometimes I sell Mary Kay. Doctor, uh, we have an appointment to keep. Oh, yes. Uh, unfortunately, yes. Will you stay for dinner? Well, thank you. I'd like that. That is, if it's no trouble. Good. Then I'll see you tonight. Mm. My niece is hot, don't you think? Why the narrow beaker of condensed milk? <laughs> Lovely girl, your niece. Yes. We have a family of five. I hadn't seen her since she was a little girl. It is surprising how close we have become since she defected. Actually, it's illegal. We receive you. Mm. Request immediate meeting. With Barbie and Ken. Confirmed. Yikes, look at her gidget baby room. Now I'm going to play my new Cow Sills album. The secret compact. This is not all that compact. Just stores this in my hair. You 
know, she hurt herself bad when she mixed up her lady Schick with her lady Wesson. Oh, by this time in a James Bond movie, there'd have been ten helicopter explosions, eight ski chases. You know, this spy movie's just kind of hanging around the house. My bedspread turns into an airplane and my panties are an anti-personnel device. Just think, Mike, way above that camera shot, she might be partially nude. Miss Chance, Dr. Stefanik, may I present Mr. Henry Manson? I'll prepare the autopsy room. My apologies for my odd performance. Why is he not in Gulag? See, just cut here, staple this to this, take a little off here. He made his own gravy. Oh, I just realized how hungry I am. What is your deal? <laughs> your dad's alcoholic golf buddy as agent for harm. Have you been doing research in bacterial sporulation? You've studied sporophyllology, haven't you? I can't tell you. I need time. They're going too fast. You must trust me. You want me to trust you, but you won't trust me. Is that it? The spy broke my heart once. Because I trusted someone. I almost did not get to America. I cannot take the risk again. And so I must torture monkeys. I have a job to do here. Film developing. Alone. I cannot answer your questions now. Let me come over there. Be there in a moment. Hold on. Almost there. <laughs> Okay. I'm not leaving till I get the answers. Do I make myself clear? Uh, let me review. You're going to leave right now because you can't get the answers. Yes. You have made yourself quite clear. Yes. I'll go get the cot. <laughs> You're no longer welcome in my house. Please, go. But I made myself clear that I wouldn't leave and stuff. <laughs> Apparently, I haven't made myself clear enough. Therefore, I will now expound on the basic premise at length. You think you can't get hurt, Doctor, because this is America? Apple pie and all that jazz? And hula hoops and dungarees? Well, my job is to keep the apple pie on the table, and nobody <laughs> asks me how I do it. Oh, I'll just need an hour to figure out your metaphor. Doctor, <laughs> you realize I could have you sent back. I still have the receipt. You forget I'll take my niece with me. Once you taste my schnitzel, I'm sure you will understand. I have to make a salad for the defected scientist's dinner tonight, I just remembered, but keep talking. <laughs> would you like a drink? So we're okay then? Yes, I would. Thank you. <laughs> Insure or boost? <laughs> Close the window, come alive. Do you mind, Doctor? I uh, had an early start this morning. Go right ahead. Uh, then I'll need to take a sponge bath, then apply my anusol. No, no, he's going to shave me next. I think you will like it. It is Surge. Very good. Redolent of spider monkey urine. Ooh. Here's your answer. Yep. Your answer will be coming in just a moment there. Coming soon, the answer. Yep. Da 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 da! <laughs> well, no, maybe not. Sorry. It's my scoopable kitty litter clump collection. Fragments of a meteorite which fell behind the Iron Curtain two years ago. Don't touch them. They contain a form of... of spore. No, you are. Possibly formed when the meteorite entered the Earth's atmosphere. The fragments were given to the Biological Warfare Commissariat. Comrade Basil Melko. I see harm is well informed. A beautiful thing to say. But you haven't heard of Malko's project spore. This spore penetrates the flesh yeah. and devours the body from within, turning it into a human fungus. Like Larry King? 
What does Malco intend to do? Bomb us with uh, spore bombs? No. My lieber Schatz. Malco is too subtle for that. He knows you would retaliate. He fears your wedgies. Adam. Oh, just, did you see this mad magazine? <laughs> Malco plans to dust your crops. With Mrs. Dash. Your people unknowingly will eat those apple pies of yours. Did I set my parking brakes? Hmm. Let me show you something. It's under my uniform. Excuse me. Ba -da -ba -da. Oh, no. A souvenir I brought with me. A spore gun, like the one that killed Henry Manson. It's a spore gun! Dr. Stefanik, why didn't you tell us as soon as you came to this country? I was trying to find an antidote. And did you? I think so. But it has not been fully tested. So, have you ever been with an ugly guy? Sure there's no Jim Beam in here? Oh, and happy Secretary's Day. Every agent from harm has to know how to field strip a razor. Remind me to pawn these for booze. Okay. Well, I think we... Dad, Dad, I passed the bar. Remember, I'm not too short, you're too tall. I'm making E.L. fudge. Voted best dressed lab tech. <laughs> Don't have to be rich to be my girl. Well, is my spore garden growing? We've decreased the ultraviolet to 2,700 angstrom units. The spore should mature in half the time. So long as the culture is not altered or damaged. You see for yourself. Uh, why all the theater popcorn? Careful. Harry mm. carries glasses. Quite oh. active. We really need a giant roomy eye. <laughs> uh, what about dehydration? The potency should remain at the same level. Three micrograms per square meter will be lethal. Yeah. Our schedule is cut in half. It's a mince off. HJ7 reports harm is sent to man. Yeah. Adam Chance. He is with Stefanik now. How? What are our instructions? Same as before. Mm -hmm. The only thing that has changed is my timetable. Have you seen my raspberry beret? Come around, Marco. I don't trust the girl. I would like to take care of the man from harm. I would die for him. I'll take care of him. The girl has her instructions. How's the fish boil? Dropped a little tiny screw in here. I can't find it. <laughs> Ah, uh, now it will shoot little potato pellets. I think I took the Sally Struthers gun repair course. So, Mr. Middle Cabinet, we meet again. Power punch. This time I'm really gonna see the Great Pumpkin. Hey, it's the Family Circus Shapely Grandma. Cindy Lou Who grew up nice. What are you doing here? I saw the flashlight. I knew you'd be here. Did you? Plus, you were crashing around like a drunk elephant. <laughs> you think I have exclusive rights to the use of a flashlight? They would have used infrared glasses. Yeah, they would have. <laughs> Wouldn't they? Would they? You forget where I come from. We know of these things. Besides, my uncle told me tonight of Malcolm's plans. And you should know enough to get out of here while you can. Before you fall into my sex trap. Look, Angel, your uncle has to stay. He's my bait. He's a minnow. But it isn't necessary for you. Can I have my breasts back? Adam, can't we forget about it just for tonight? Mm. Let it ride out in the wave. Just you, me, and a moonlight swim. Oh, he's wearing little panties. Oh, that's oh, nice. That's nice. You know, women can multitask while they're making love. Yeah, I know that. She's thinking of England, France, the entire European community, the Middle East. What is this 
kiss? You know, you're tempting me, Angel. But you're not fooling me. What do you mean? You're a guy. You wouldn't have the nerve to swim in the dark. Disturbing little whiskers here. Wouldn't I? Follow my Terry romper. Are you coming, or do I swim alone? Yes and yes. Angel face, that is not the way cases are solved. I swim alone. There's some trunks in your room in case you change your mind. There's trunks in my room? How'd they get in there? <laughs> Little farmer hanky here. <laughs> Recorder music for young lovers. Good night, little spore gun. Oh, you lucky trunks. Get ready to gift wrap a beautiful package. <laughs> <laughs> Who could be answering the phone? Wow! Whoa. Hello. Are you alone, Stefanik? Who is this? Have you forgotten so soon? It's about my eye bags, isn't it? I've forgotten nothing, Marco. Then you know that I'm serious. Busy, 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 busy. Where busy, is busy, Charles? Busy, busy. Hello? Come, what? come, old friend. We know he is there. Is he with you now? I'm surprised you don't know that, too. What do you want? Hmm? Your formula for the antidote. Who? No. No. Then you'll find yourself... Oh, no. your he's room. getting off on this. Oh. oh. As you did Manson's. Controversy! You know how sincere I am. What do you want me to do? We'll come to you tomorrow at noon. <laughs> you and the girl will not be there. You will leave a suit in the living room. In the left pocket will be the farm bureau. The farm bureau? Do you understand? <laughs> what about Chance? I want him in the house. Tell him nothing about our talk. Could you come on over here and let me work on that zipper? Do you really think he'll give you the antidote? Of course not. But he will tell Chance that we are coming. I think I want to dance. Ow! Chance has a job to do. He cannot do it unless he finds us. You and Ender Back to the song will help him yeah, do just close. that. Hey, that's me. He mentioned me. I'll be waiting. God, Milch. Your Honor, if it pleases the court, Your Honor, I'd like to present Your Honor with these video depositions via video, Your Honor. Well, go ahead. Oh, thank you. I think you'll like them. They're just darling. <laughs> Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tom Servo's video deposition with special guest stars Tom Skerritt, Bell Biv DeVoe, and the leggy Tsar Nicholas II. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, please. No, you're too kind. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, how you doing? Thank you. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Wow, what a night, huh? This is the night the stars have come out for a very special Mike Nelson deposition. I'd like to bring out our first special guest depositioner, a brilliant and inspiring military leader, and a good friend. General Oliver Cromwell! But first, let me introduce funny man Maya Angelou! Right after this word from our sponsor. Thank you. Oh, please, thank you. No, come on, you're too kind. No, not, not I'm sitting killing. next to a free man. Oh, thank you. Wow. Here we go. This thing on? Oh, okay. Hi, I'm Crow T. Robot, and I'm here to tell you that Mike Nelson is innocent. Mike Nelson is 200% not guilty. And if you don't find him innocent, then you can just kiss my fat ass. And that goes for your bullshit court system too. Mike, I'm so sorry I couldn't be there for this big bogus trial, man. But let me tell you something, Nelson. If I was there, I'd kick everyone's fat, stupid behinds and then cram it up their Anyway, Mike, buddy, I hope this helps. Take care, Mike. <laughs> Tom, hi, I'm Gypsy, and Mike Nelson totally didn't do it. 
Uh, 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 objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. No, overruled. No. The court will recess to allow the defendant to view movie segments and will reconvene thereafter. Lordy, lordy, that gypsy, she is one nefarious and perfidious gal, huh? <laughs> well, looks like you're going down, son. Do you like pancakes? Hey, porcupine. Hey, get up here. Come on, underpants Come on. head. Oh, you took your time there, Stripey. Into the theater, Go, Zebra. We got movie sign! Who's helming the house? <laughs> I hate being grounded. Oh no, it's 11.22! Women love his beige sport car. Okay, so, so now his car turns into a plane? No, no, Tom, just drive. Ah, uh, now a rocket-powered the skier will no, come hey, down and... Hey, hey, don't hurt yourself. No. Oh, man. Exotic locations. Bada bada. You get half off clams if you buy them before 9 a.m. Just need to run in and get my check. Da 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 da. Well, um, maybe there's an elevator to an exotic secret location. Stop. Just some... stop. It's not gonna happen. You should have taken the little red car that. Baby, you got to slow down. Man, I can't believe they carted me. I gotta go all the way back home. Da 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 da! <laughs> Actual film from the highway department. I'm, I'm an agent. I'm an agent from Harlem. Agent from harm, I'm an agent from harm, I'm an agent from harm, I'm an agent. Well, dropped her off at the Tiki Hut, now I gotta go change, get to my shift at the Comfort Inn. Ba-da, ba-da. I just can't go to the bathroom in a public place. Watch me open the hell out of this door. Walt Disney, and he's mad. Oh, the booger gun! Doctor! Knock it off! <laughs> it's me, Adam! I know! Adam. <laughs> Take the knockwurst out of your ears and wake up! I almost killed you. Yes, you almost did. Let me come over there, and then we will resume our conversation. Okay. Now, will you stop trying to do this alone? I need your cooperation. Marco's cohorts will be here in ten minutes. So please take your shower. You knew. Yes. I left Ava the sea urchin. I don't know how long she'll wait for me. You'd better get there before she calls a cab. I want both of you away from here. So I can get some cleaning this done. exactly what Marco wants. You here alone. I'm aware of that. I'll handle it. I've got my cardigan. You better hold on to this in case you need it. You can bring your monkey if you want. <laughs> All right. Excuse me. Done. Here the car keys. Gee, Pop, you're swell. Joining his niece for lunch. Da 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 da! White things. Get your white things. <laughs> Come on, movie, just bite me. I gotta swing by the leather panty place. The shy cameraman. Oh, come on, get closer, it's fine. Come on. On the way home, I want to pick up some cream. <laughs> Honey, this is it. This is the house I want. Can't resist. I just got to peek in the living room. I wonder if that water heater makes the water warm enough, Lisa. Oh, my pants are too tight. Oh, gosh, I will never have children. I no, he's got Altoids in here. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna press his pants for free. <laughs> Any shirts? Oh, 
wrong, so they pickled all this wood. I wonder if they did that in the other room. If Pepe Le Pew was a human, he'd be this guy. They don't just pick up dry cleaning, they deliver. Ba-da, ba-da. If only picking up dry cleaning was always this easy, my friend. No formula, just like Marco said. Any sign of chance out here? Oh man, just another manic Monday. Oceans 2. Let's eat our dinner at a fancy restaurant. Um, get your hand off my knee, thanks. Trust your dry cleaning to dry cleaners. <laughs> Peek a boo. I'll drive slowly. Keep your eyes open in case Chan should follow us. I'd like to spend the night inside your sugar walls. That's enough, Prince. Excuse me, I, I just realized I could hand wash one of my blouses. It's bull's ear day. Kids under 10 get a bull ear. NAFTA's really working. Well, that's the last Taco John's we'll see for a while. What? What? Quit looking at me. What? What? <sighs> well. Oh, here we go. Da 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 da! <laughs> They're driving. Action pants. My pants are up to the challenge. Can we bring this guy some water? Because he might shoot a guy on the Mexican border. Man, these Mexican banditos are bad. <laughs> Gentlemen, let's do some dry cleaning. He wasn't at the house. He didn't follow us. And he's not as smart as I thought. Miran. Yeah, Dad, what say we make a shaker of martinis? Hey, take the truck away. Get rid of it. Marvy, old chum. The border guards may have gotten a report in the stolen truck. Good as done, old foot. Better be careful. Running with a gun wouldn't want to put a lead pill in the family jewels. No. Wish I could have taken the Alpha. TTFN. Oh, mummery. Posh and bother. Drive. Okay. I said drive. A man. Pops, there's a man giving the squish squash to the old wind tube. What about chance? Pee-wee's grandfather, Winchester Wee Herman. Now the mountain will have to go to Mohammed. To the rear, hook! Wendy and Lisa coming over later, is that okay? Can I just have just a little bit of air? I think I'd be a better driver. Yeah, that's Oh! Drive while I do my grizzly bear impression. Damn, that puts a crease in the old Westcott, doesn't it? Hey, he's actually doing something here. <laughs> oh. Um, I think it'll be Wednesday before I can get the suit back. No, no, maybe Thursday. Uh, it might be one of my associates who calls you because my body was just scissored in half. Say, the old top knot seems to be in flames, old trench. <laughs> uh, there's bone marrow on the turtleneck, so there'll be no charge. Hmm. Well, I got as far as Jello one and two. Must go one step more. Hmm? <laughs> Who is it? Billy. Can I play with your monkey? 
Hey, Doc, can I use your beach? Want to build some condos? Oh, yes, of course. Eva is there. I wonder if you would do me a favor. There's a man who has been most annoying to Ava. If you see any strangers on the beach, uh, would you call me? I'll take care of it, Doc. I know how it is. Some creeps don't care if a chick digs him or not. I'll keep the old eyeballs peeled. I would appreciate it. Sure thing, Doc. Oh, by the way, uh, Mr. Chance uh, told me to tell you that he's uh, in his room. I picked him up in town and brought him on out. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, see you later, Doc. Of course. I think a plot point just spilled all over us there. <laughs> wow. Pretend to lock the door and go. <laughs> Kawabonga, Billy! <laughs> I'll hold on. Yes, sir, we have the cardigan and ochre. <laughs> hey, you want soup? I feel like soup tonight. Adam, I just found out I'm German. What happened? I'll tell you later. Where's Ava? At the beach. Mickey Mouse. And he's got the biggest feet in town. Adam, what's up? Oh, Case is AAZ. Jim, I've got their base right up the border in Mexico. Ready for the tag? Not yet. I've got their base. Now I've got to find the airport they plan to use. What's the fast help? Not at the moment. I don't want Malco alerted till I'm ready. What's the make, just in case? Oh, Calle del Campo. My darling. Two miles south of the border station, left off the main drag, four miles in the hills. A pink stucco. Alone. He's sketching a whiskey in seven. Oh, Adam. I am drunk. I want a pulsometer check when you go in. I didn't know you cared, Jim. Harm does. I'll uh, see you later. <coughs> so, secret call? Or... <laughs> Doctor, this is a harm transistor com. It's very powerful. I want you to wear it from now on. I'll be wearing its twin sister. How does it work? Three position dial. Transmitting, receiving, and pong. <laughs> Sonar tracing beam. And the others fail. It clips on. To your ear. How's the antidote coming? I was starting a final test. Good. You better get on it before company comes. Are you sure they will be back? You bet your nose they'll be back. And doctor, I'll turn on the set as soon as you're in the lab. Don't touch any doors or windows while they're charged. Must I wager my nose that they'll be back? I... <laughs> a man with a sexy niece. <laughs> Don't wanna. Do as your spy tells you. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Statue of John Daly up there. <laughs> oh yeah, I think it's the brake pads. Yep. He maintains an appliance. Da 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 da! <laughs> How you feeling today, Hal? <laughs> Grandma's brownie recipe just isn't working. I don't know. Well, I'm plenty fertile. How playful you are when alive. Didn't get a word of that. You know, early VCRs were not easy to program. He's pirating free TV. <laughs> I work out of my apartment and make big Deutschmarks at home. And after you found a human host like Henry. <laughs> Here's I in your mud. <laughs> <laughs> and now from five feet away. <laughs> you know, she's rather fletching. <laughs> she makes me quiver. <laughs> She sucks. Of course, everybody sucks compared to me, though. I should give her a break. <laughs> it's a nice grouping she's got. Uh -huh. Not that hard, but, you know. <laughs> to go. Well, I'll go practice my hammer throw. Is there a stud here besides me? <laughs> Agent from Panelcraft. Very good, I was watching. Adam. I'm sorry I had to leave you at lunch, Angel. Where have you been? I've been waiting for you. Well, I ran into a couple of old friends and I just got carried away. Sorry. 
You better not let that happen again. Do it, baby woman. Do it. I won't. Like I said, your, uh, your aim is too good. <laughs> it better be. The International Archery Competition is next month in Vienna. Mm -hmm. And I'm a contestant. I'm seated a millionth. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Angel? I have a condition where I need sex every hour. Will you do something for me? Mm -hmm. you cash a two-party check? Will you pack a bag and just fudge out of here? I don't like fudge. Gee, why did I say fudge? That was stupid. You must have forgotten my primal sexual attractiveness. Angel face. Now you listen to me. Things are going to start getting very dangerous around here. We knew it would be. Cuckoo. Now you must be afraid of something. Mm, Mittens. Of you a little. You okay in there, Henry? You need something to read? <laughs> Hours of staring at the window finally pays off. You take Stefanik, we'll take Chan. Then we take Berlin. Adam. I want my bottle. Adam. Where's my blankie and my nookie? Yeah. Find mine. She's just after his social security checks. <laughs> just. Human relations. Shh, quiet. We're so Come on, Prince. Come on. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> the door. I found the door. Oh, yeah. Jan or Dean? Ooh, ooh, ooh. What was that? No barbecue any pigeon, Asia. No, let's go. Will you shut up already? Damn. Gotta dance, gotta dance. Oh, great. So he's really a serial killer sanctioned by the government. Yeah. John, are you all right? I'm all right. Was that the ghost of a cow? What? <laughs> I don't touch the door. Could that be the most beautiful girl in the world? Why the tension hook? Oh, they have mail going out. <laughs> well, my prostate seems okay. Now for a giant olive oil pilsner. The Zenith Corporation recommends you do not wire your television to metal doors. Thank you. Day three of my cardigan. My funk overwhelms me. Just a typical day for Prince. Nothing, just, just a little disagreement. <laughs> it's lemon chiffon bath time, baby. Ooh. Morning. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, I just get so car sick. Blah. Can you give me a ride to Hawaii? Thanks. And they hit an iceberg. Oh, now what? You flooded it. Well, that's just my hair grease, honey. Only the sport can hurt David. And that was already in his blood when he hit the water. Yeah, of course. Whatever. Are you sure? Yeah. You'll be all right. Mike, do you have Kravorkian's number? Uh, I've got it on my speed dial. Reservations for three? Please. Yeah. Include me. You afraid? Well, that's a switch. Ava. Ava, you stay here and rest a minute. You'll be all right. Hey, cop the feel. I saw that. <laughs> Tuck it back. <laughs> there. Hey, touched her boob, you guys. I'm not a virgin anymore. Woo. 
filmed on location near a power switching station in Oklahoma. Okay, let's see. Electrocute a guy, check. Touch a breast, check. So far, so good. Volga Boatman, a Volga Boatman. This is the room of a man whose niece's boob I just brushed. Heroin and fudge, what could it mean? I don't like shots, they're owie. I wish I had the slightest idea of what the hell I was doing. Uh, hi, does this suit make me look fat? I was going to get the pink one, but I got this instead. Location scout says this is the only location. Now take it easy, Angel. Mike Cardigan's here. He was pretty burned up with me before he got here. Come on, you trembling. Let's have a picnic on the judo ranch. Don't worry, <laughs> I'll find your uncle. Oh, vodka vacuum. Make him out. Jim? Gin? Where? They've taken Stefanik. Who have we got in Mexico? Uh, Johnny Martinez, Tijuana border station. Get him, now. Tell him to meet me at Calle del Campo, one mile west of Malco's base. There's a motel there. Then again, there are times when I like this movie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Watch as she looks. I'm leaving now. You want a pulsometer check? You bet I do. Who doesn't want a pulsometer check? Ooh. Here we go. Hang on, my watch wants to talk to you. Oh, look, he's got a wrist harmonica in case he runs into John Popper. That would hurt. <laughs> well, we just opened another Kentucky Fried Chicken in San Diego. You got it. Pulsometer response positive. Right. Luck at him. Thanks. See you around, Jim. Rubber, rubber, rubber. I wonder who that was. Yeah. What is this? A, uh, a going away present? In a way. It's the least I can do. My uncle gave it to me for protection. My uncle's Ted Nugent. <laughs> Thank you. That's very sweet. Mm, that could be any one of the other two characters. <laughs> Headquarters sent me. They want you to go somewhere. Sucret? I'm sorry. Would you give her some protection till I get back? Sure, sure I will. Mm -hmm. Ava, the keys in your car? Yes. You don't mind if I take it, do you? Do you know how to drive an automatic? Man, you are so lucky. I could never wear one of those. Do you mind if I go to my room? Oh, that's all right. I'll be out here in case you need me. Do you need me now by any chance? Uh, how about now? Now? Da, 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 da. I sure hope I don't park on any tequila bottles. Okay, drop the rib cage, stick out the butt, and let the girdle do its work. Martinez? Gimlets? Anything? Hey, Martinez! <laughs> Hi. <laughs> What are you smiling about? Well, the Denerex side makes my face melt. Yeah, he was a pretty mediocre agent. No big deal. Griffey's at bat. Oh, it's long! Long, it's out of us! He's locking every car on the lot. Garage doors are opening and closing. <laughs> Pacemaker's going up. Gee, thanks, Martinez. You've been a big help. May as well get a Reno while I'm around. Walks directly to his right front tire on a hunch. <laughs> Perhaps, much like Linus, I can wrap my cardigan around the tire. <laughs> yes, I can ride that house across the border. Seems like everyone else in town off playing volleyball or siesta time. Can we warm it up now? Yes. We'll follow you in the observer plane. Uh, can I get a hand? I have a hernia. Never gonna get it up this way. Me. Agent from harm lets the good times roll. Agent from harm lets. Well, drove to Mexico, got a flat headed back. All in all, pretty successful mission. 
Well, they're out of Fumar. Now what do we do? You seem to be expecting someone. Chance perhaps. It's possible. You're correct. Your niece informed us that he is looking for us. My niece ratted on me? You are lying. He's calling all the crickets to come help him. You only lie to break my resistance. But you will never get the antidote for me. Look, it's Nathan Lane. It's a chance. It's Fast Chop, the classic made you look ploy. A man will believe the lies he wants to believe, comrade. Crow, Crow, come quickly. I found a legal precedent that I think yeah, might help yeah, Mike's case. Yeah, yeah, what is it? What is it? It's... Ah, oh, wait. It'll only work if Mike is a noisy goose within the city limits of Des Plaines, Illinois. Dara, would you please? They've just sworn in the Observer. Oh? State your name. Oh, I have no name. I am simply a fractal of a larger thought collective. Part of an omniscient neural net, if you will. To lesser beings, we reveal ourselves as observers. All right then, brain guy. Why don't you describe the events on the day your planet was turned to vapor? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, it was a lovely day. A, a thrush gave voice to some dreamy, half-remembered tune. And I tripped through a fragrant copse, whistling aimlessly Don't to add my... your part. I, sorry. sorry. I, I was taking one of my famous fresh-baked pies to the senior observer center, when suddenly, out of the sky, rode seven horrible steeds, smoke and fire belching from there. Oh, God. Oh, it's too horrible. Fire belching from where? from their hellish muscles. And astride them rode a grim-visaged man, laughing <laughs> and raining death upon us. <laughs> of course. Oh. Is that grim-visaged man here today? Yes, Take yes. your time. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. It's him right there. That's him. That's Let the him. record show that the egghead identified the grim visaged Death Rainer as Michael J. Nelson. No further questions. <laughs> well, 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 now, now, now. That planet, that planet of yours surely did sound beautiful, sir. Yes, 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 it was. You know, I can almost hear that thrush singing. Maybe a cicada or two sounding a sort of lonesome tune over the treetops. It's entirely possible, I suppose. Yes, yes, yes. Do you all have a summer festival on that planet, sir? I, I, yes, we had Medulla Days. Oh. There were oh. street sales and brain tossings oh. and <laughs> children playing children in the Children playing oh. in the streets. Why, I can almost hear their sweet voices. Oh, quite oh. nice. Oh. My, my, my. Well, oh. I won't keep you, sir. You may step down. Thank you very much. Now, there is just one more thing, sir. Just a, a small, small thing there. Dot. What kind of pie was it that you brought to those lovely old folks? Oh, it, it was apple, I believe. Oh, apple, you know, that was my pappy's favorite. Mm -hmm. And where is he going with this? Uh, and uh, what kind of apples did you use in that pie? Oh, oh, uh, red, red delicious, I believe. Red delicious. Uh, don't those uh, get kind of mushy? Well, I, I, I like that. <laughs> some folk do, some folk do. Now then, uh, Corn starts for a thickener, I reckon. Oh, yeah, yes. Well, of course. Yes, it's not tapioca, not arrowroot. No, no, corn starch. I'm, oh. I'm sure. Yes, yes. A butter for the crust or lard? Uh, lard. Oh, yes. lard. Lard was my sister woman's favorite. Oh, indeed. Now, I suppose you just used a little warm tap water to work that lard into the flour? Well, of course. How else do you do? <laughs> huh. Yes, yes. And how did that crust turn out, sir? Well, it was flaky and delicious. Listen, what are you implying? I am insinuating, sir, that this man is a fraud and a liar. He has what? never made a pie crust in his life. I, my pie is famous. I have made hundreds. Sir, I have eaten every pie this vast universe has to offer. I have eaten black bottoms, shoe flies, custards, minces, and meringues. I have oh, no. eaten pecan and black chestnut, no. key lime, fruit, cream no. pies, crumble and lattice stuff, no. and I ain't never no. heard of using no warm water for no crust. Oh, no, I'm lying. All right, I'm lying. Do my thing. Your Honor, I move for an immediate dismissal, oh, and I think we ought to look into our little baker here no. as a possible 
possible suspect. Now get this scum off my stand. No, you're out of order. No, you're out of order. You're out of order. The courtroom is out of order. The candy machine by the men's room is out of order. Yeah, it's all right. oh, 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 oh. You hurt my pomade. One of those <laughs> things. I ought to spaz chop you so bad. What happened? You might inspect the welcome at the gate. Chance is on his way. Oh, the clever Dr. Stefanik. Have you forgotten how much I dislike secrets? <laughs> Herr Truman Capote. No, please, I'm just a pawn. Oh, seems a fade dwarf stepped on it. Hmm. Well then, glasses down, button cardigan, and away! <laughs> ah, it's Mission Impossible language. <laughs> Everything's got to be just so for the agent from harm. He's so picky. Is that taboo you're wearing? Boots have pointlessly pointed toes. They're positively elfin. Might as well curl them up and put bells on the ends. He has to plug in his gun? John Shuck prepares for war. It might be easier just to shoot the guy. I don't know. <laughs> Trap is set. Prepare for takeoff. Yeah. Oh, come on, they have our table. Oh, look at that arm. I guess he mouthed off to Maite. Scooby dooby doo, v dooby dooby. Knob. I'll see what Pyle thinks I should do. Punch to scan the area for tequila bottles. There. Ha! Ah, Zippo lighter at the red. Jerome Robbins, P.I. Clearly they want my cardigan. I knew I never should have left that one location. Yeah. So if I duck out of the way, the guns will kill each other. Belongs to you, Mr. Gunn. So if he begins jumping rope, he might set it off after 20 minutes or so. <laughs> now I'll be killed from a slightly different angle. You won't spaz chop Adam, will you? <laughs> Yay, it's Leather Tuscadero! Get back! No, wait. leave me alone! Stop it! What are you doing? Puss. Leave me alone! Stop, Stop it! Just... Oh. My love has come for me! Care to place any bets, comrade? The odds are three to one against him. Three to two. I'm still here. Three to one. Oh, my hamster was in that pocket! I'm freezing. <laughs> Sir, I told you you've been bumped from this flight. Still, this is better than any given Northwest flight. Oh, definitely. What are the odds now, comrade? Shut up or I'll shoot you in the other pocket. It's like being chased by your anthropology professor. <laughs> well, back at it. <laughs> Wait, you forgot your bullets. Whoa, guess I should have known. Uh, on your right. Stop, or your propeller will grind me to hamburger. 
stop or I'll age him from harm you. Gingivitis. <laughs> No, he's headed straight for the turkey barn. <laughs> My fiesta wear collection. Back into my hollow tree. The only logical response to this movie is pure unbridled hate. <laughs> Do you have any back teen? You still have another pocket. You're just differently pocketed. Marco! Oh. You're the last one! Uh, are you mad? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Surrender or I'll shoot the garbage can. Empty. My life was empty before I met you. A present from Ava. Ooh, Andy. Ava. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You keep down. Or just list to one side. <laughs> you panicky villain. Be careful. Those bags contain spore. Thank you, bad voice. Oh, well, I think he's out of caps. <laughs> Tires and, and popcorn are all we sell. What he doesn't know is I'm nude under this coat, and that's my last defense. Uh, 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 testing. Is this thing on? Oh, oh. Batch from harm. He's wearing panty smoothers. <laughs> Not so super soaker. That's a dead body. Look at that face. <laughs> uh, you probably want to clean it out with a pipe cleaner. Um, I'm that hero. If your choice of weapons is spore guns, mm -hmm. I shall be happy to oblige you. What do you do with empty guns? I confess I have a slight advantage. Spore bullets. Splunt. I'll try to be more accurate the next time. Okay, good luck. I'll stand still. Oh, that was a powerful bird. Sam, I need it here. I'm kind of dying. <laughs> yeah, I'll open some boxes while I'm here. Might as well do some good. Got that suit at Orville Redenbacher Warehouse. I hear you have been dying to meet me. Oof, that harms me. Gentlemen, I implore you, no fumar! And the agent hangs back as the injured elderly scientist does everything. <laughs> Watch out, the bisquick! <laughs> bag of instant spore? <laughs> By Vitalis! They're dredging him in flour and they're gonna pan fry him. Oh, now I can play Data. Killed by gluten intolerance. Don't touch me. I want to remember you like this. Life is spore. That, my friend, was one hell of a way to test your antidote. You knew I, I took the antidote? Yes. I combined my, my experiment <laughs> with your defensive action. He's chewing the scenery. <laughs> Adam, Adam, my notes. Oh, please. In the lab. Come on, it's not called old scientist who sort of helped agent from harm, okay? Sus suspended. On the mission. <laughs> Dr. Stefanik. Stop that. Can you hear me? That's disgusting. Done. Cut it out! I will see that you get to a hospital. And I will get every one of your notes from the laboratory. Good luck with everything. <laughs> Uh, do, do you have a number for an ambulance? Uh, at least it could be a dime or... Uh, <laughs> I thought he was <laughs> Welcome to County Mark. <laughs> oh, it's like a morgue in there. Man. Jim, what are 
are you doing here? When Martinez Pulse stopped, I flew. I'm here too. Well, what's Stefanik doing here? We had him flown up here for the autopsy. Oh. He isn't dead. I've got all his research notes. Proving he's not dead. He's been dead for hours. He's alive. He had taken the antidote. He's in a prolonged state of suspended animation. Santa came down from heaven and made him better. Uh, I'll just stay out here and do my junior job. That's okay. Oh, never mind. Okay, look, just because he's a pile of goo doesn't mean he's dead. I don't know. He's gone. I mean, he's there, but he's dead. This boy's <laughs> taken over. There's no stopping it now. The antidote is useless. Like you. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they shouldn't have flown him in. Maybe the plane temperature, air pressure counteracted the antidote. Maybe you botched the case, Adam. Maybe there is no antidote. I'll get by a research on this. Come on, Adam. I better go put on my funeral card again. All that hard work wiring that TV set. Uh, the combination of the spaz chop and the pocket wound was just too much for the old man. Well, I better start screwing up a new case. Dear medical examiner, put my friend in the best pail money can buy. Well, looks like I'm running out of room. <laughs> best wishes, Adam Harm Chance. So long, old goo, uh, friend. And vegetable dip. <laughs> hmm, what should I almost wear today? Oh, she's packing her archery uniforms. How did she get out of her playpen? <laughs> Here's the wind-up, and there's the smarm. <laughs> Angel, you make a lousy housewife. I told you I wasn't the mop and broom type. Oliver. Remember? Level five smug alert. Adam, I so many things have changed. I'm going to Vienna to the archery competition. Uh huh. Like before. I'll be a little bit early, but I've just got <laughs> to get away. I know. I feel the same way. I knew you'd understand. So my uncle died, huh? See, snappy, something snappy. Come on. Uh, boy, you've got a lot of hangers, huh? No. God. I'll miss you very much, Adam. I really will. And it'll help me to miss you if you leave, so... Uh... Will you miss me as much as you miss your uncle? Mara? Well, I, huh? Uh, what do you mean? Mara Taslav. A sweet little girl who conned a nice, trusting man into believing she was a niece he hadn't seen for 20 years. Hmm? No, Adam. Sweet darling, Mara Tesla. Should I take my white blouse? Who gave me a warm smile and an empty gun. And some onions and some string. <laughs> I told them every move I made. No, Adam, that isn't true. Yes, Angel Face. Ugh. According to the archery officials, there is no Ava Vestock registered. But there is a Mara Tesla. Die. Who fits your lovely description perfectly. Ugh. All right. But I only did it for the Vienna competition. I was afraid they'd oh. find me and oh. use me to force my uncle to reveal his antidote. But the rest is real. So the only thing he did in this movie was call the Vienna Archery Association? That's it. prove it to you. But you already did. Oh, did you? When you answered to the name you were born with. Oh. No. Oh. 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 Come on, Angel Face. Oh. <laughs> we both know, don't we? You know, this movie can be used to induce vomiting. Uh-huh. Oh. There's a police car waiting. Oh, wait, I forgot my Lancome special gift free with purchase thing. No, oh, no, movie, you made a mistake. The arrow was supposed to go in his face. Come on. You wouldn't have won that competition either, Angel. Adam, don't let them take me. You're a bad girl. Don't tell. <laughs> Well, I call him the liquor cabinet. Oh. 
I was getting worried about you. Oh, now he's going to go over and lightly kiss his boss. <laughs> we were just saying goodbye. Weren't we, Adam? <sighs> That's right. We were just saying goodbye. With our reproductive organs. <laughs> first rule of women everywhere, first, do no harm. Indeed. Booker. On what charge? <laughs> Accessory to the murder of Henry Manson. Accessory to the murder of Martinez in Mexico. And the uh, attempted murder of uh, Adam Chance. And failure to give me some. Adam. I'm sorry, Angel. I'm dedicated, you know. Lieutenant? You'll have no worries with me, ma'am. I'm Officer Eunuch. <laughs> Can I borrow your liver for the weekend? How long have you known? My cardigan alerted me some time ago. You don't deserve an answer. I found this, our hotline to Malco. I didn't tell the audience because I didn't think they needed to know. <laughs> Just beautiful. But no heart, Jim, none. Not even one. A machine. She's just a machine. She's only part of a machine. <laughs> like we are. Drinking machine, if I can help it. <laughs> You're right, Jim. Beautiful. Case closed. And bar open, let's go. Case closed. Man, so many people poured their entire weekend into the making of this movie. <laughs> if you have problems with nasty spores, please contact Harm immediately. When in the world, please visit a location near you. So, candlelight vigil, huh? Prevent Mike's execution. Yeah, yep. that's the plan. Yep. <sighs> nice candle. You know, I'm gonna go vigil over by the um, cookies, okay? You know, let me know what happens, okay? Cause, cause I am interested. Sure, interested. sure. Yeah, ta, ta, ba, ba, so, Mr. Ortega, in the brief time you knew Mike Nelson, he... Uh, and you would say he... Uh, and in spite of your overtures, he... Oh, man, Ortega's killing me up there. I gotta admit I can't shake his testimony, but don't you worry, Mike, I have one more surprise witness. <laughs> your Honor, I would like to call to the stand right now a little... Amish boy. Proceed. <laughs> now, don't be afraid, little Amish boy. Well then, little Amish boy, you are indeed a little Amish boy? Yeah. Ah. Well, to the best of your Amish knowledge, did Mike Nelson commit any of the crimes for which he is presently being persecuted? Nine. There. I call for an immediate dismissal of all... Hang time. on. Oh. I get a crack at the little Amish brat. <laughs> so... Little Amish boy, you must be very frightened to be so far from home. Yeah. What could you have been thinking as you left your little Amish home this morning? You got up, you got dressed, you buttoned your buttons. Nine. You set the VCR, you Nine. logged on to the web for a few minutes, you Nine. drove here in your sport utility vehicle Nine. with the CD play. Nine, my father Joseph drove me into boogie. Damn it. Well, you know what I think? I think I bought some fudge from you, Amish, one time, and it was sugary and tasteless. No. What do you think about that, no. little no. Amish no. boy? No. No. this is outrageous. You want to stop this badgering? Everyone knows that Amish fudge is fudge without equal. It is fudge like velvet with a chocolatey sensation. Silence! Oh. I have reached the verdict where the defendant rise and approach the bench. It is free, buddy. <laughs> we got you going, buddy. <laughs> I find you guilty, oh. and I sentence you to death. No, no. But seeing as you're basically an amiable lug, I commute the sentence to 800 hours community service. <laughs> Court adjourned. <laughs> Oh, good to have you back, Mike. All right. All right. It really, really is, oh, man. Boy. Oh, 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 boy
Well, anyway, I uh, left a big pile of stuff over here. You better get yep. to it, man. Get to work. <laughs> That's right. Come on. Yep. Oh, a little more over there. Yeah, I, I left I a big pool of something over there. There's a whole mess of is. something right here. Okay, we'll be back next week. Hey, no talking. Serve your community. Come on. Right. Come on, Prol. Let's get Jeez, to it. Some people, huh? Thank you.